of a Fox 16 safety alert. A central Arkansas family pleading for change tonight after their loved one was hit and killed near a popular crossing in Hot Springs. Jason Givens was struck near the Oaklawn Casino Resort. This happened back in December. His family says more needs to be done to make that area safer for pedestrians. Fox 16's Jessica Rank joining us live near Oaklawn. And, and Jessica, for those of us who are familiar with that area, it's certainly a busy roadway. Yeah, Kevin, like you said, if you guys have driven near Oaklawn, you know that this sits on Highway 7, so cars are already going to be going faster than they would in a typical residential area, or really even downtown with all of those lights down in Hot Springs. But when you add a race day and hundreds of people walking across this way, it calls for a recipe for disaster. Drive down Highway 7 in Hot Springs and you can't miss it. The big sign, casino, and the sound of a few lucky winners. It was a typical weekend getaway for the Givens family. Being at the track, watching the horses, and being at the casino. December 18th was no different. Reese Givens was at Oaklawn with her dad and a few friends enjoying the first few hours of winter break. It was just a really, it was a really good day until it kind of wasn't. Like a sudden stoplight, the day came to a halt. We knew that whoever it was wasn't going to survive. Reese was waiting for her dad at the bar across the street when traffic stopped and ambulances rushed in. Her father, Jason Givens, was hit and killed while crossing the street. I instantly just kind of fell to my, I fell to my knees and just started screaming. Since 2015, RDOT has recorded 17 non-motorist related accidents on this stretch of Highway 7. A family says that's 17 too many. If we can put a man on the moon, uh, there's something that can be done there. The family is now petitioning for a sky bridge or a tunnel, building a safer path for pedestrians. It's just been hard to, um, find anything positive, uh, and this is the only thing. As the days go on, more will walk this same path. This family is hoping with a few changes, a day at the races won't end in the dark. It means to me like my dad's life. Like I am fighting for this so that no one else has to lose their dad or a family or friend. Certainly strong words there. This is kind of the situation we're dealing with right now. This is the crosswalks that they do have in place near Oaklawn. There's this one and another one just down the road. Really, you just have to press that button and wait for the cars to stop. There's not really any big red lights or anything like that. Now, this highway is owned by the state, so it falls under RDOT's jurisdiction to put any sky bridges or underpasses. We did reach out to them. They said they are aware of the safety issue and are working to fix it. They did release a statement to us, and you can read that in its entirety on our website, fox16.com. Reporting live in Hot Springs, I'm Jessica Rank. Back to you. All right.